Okay, so we'll get in the truck and uh, we'll put the key in and uh, I'm gonna cycle it. You'll see the wait to start. That's that's activating your your grid heater. See how it went off. I have to do it about twice. It's about eight degrees out right now this morning. I can see the the wait to start came back on, and then uh, we're gonna let her rip here. See what happens. Okay. I give it a little bit of gas, we'll let it warm up, get these lights going, and the heat up, and we'll do a quick little explanation. We're going to see a, a pretty dramatic um, voltage drop, and some people think that that's you know, a weak battery or the signs of a weak alternator or something, but we'll talk about that and uh, what to look for and what it probably is. Okay, so we've been sitting here for about um, four or five minutes. You can see the alternator is making good power, but then you can see it dims down and and takes you know takes it down pa uh, below 14 volts. And I have it revved up a little bit. Sorry, the the tag doesn't read over here, but I'm at about 800 RPMs. So what's happening right here is that Cummins and Dodge have designed the ECM in this truck to um, fire the grid heater at um, below 20 miles per hour. So when that thing is firing, you'll see it drastically drop because that draws a ton of power to heat up that, hit gr that uh, grid heater, which is basically like a, a toaster oven. The, the coils in there, that's what that is. So we'll, we'll take it off uh, my little bit of idle there. Um, what you'll, the symptoms you'll have is the lights will dim, your fans, your amenities will dim, and then, you know, your voltage will drop. But that's normal. Now, this description is for a, a perfectly running truck, you know. Um, I know I've gone through the, the charging system. I have new batteries. I have a new alternator. I have a new belt. So I know that none of my grounds are bad. Um, some other things that you might want to check if you know your, your charging system is good is all your grounds. You know, your ground from your starter to your block, from your battery to your block, from your batteries to your fender. Um, you know, check all your grounds and then check all your cables too because you might be getting a weird draw from somewhere. But that's a cool start on this. You can see um, we've kind of heated up the engine enough where it's not drawing down power. But you can see it was definitely doing it before. And I can see where people would think that that is some kind of uh, mechanical issue where it's programmed into the ECM. You know, the, the ECM in this 96 is still smarter than uh, probably me. You know, you can read the parameters, see that the, the air temperature coming in through the um, intake is too cold and it needs to heat it up so the engine can stay running and stay happy and it can make the right amount of fuel um, and all those parameters, you know. Uh, this has the, the P7100 pump, mechanical pump in it, so it's not really um, getting directed by the ECM at all. But the ECM is watching the, the boost pressure, the, the air, ambient air temperature in there, and it's, it's commanding that uh, grid heater to turn on and off. I've even seen, seen this, you know, doing it at stop signs after driving a while. Just the truck is so cold that it needs, it needs that extra boost. All right, well, I hope you enjoy this little description. Um, as always, you know what it is. Eddie from 802 Diesel Crew, signing out.